I can't imagine a better word for a 10 layer quesadilla than epic. The email reads, Dear Sam, I recently saw a Taco Bell seven layer burrito and of course instantly thought of you guys. Thought it might be fun for you to try to recreate on your channel. Signed, Mark. You know, Mark, we too saw the seven layer burrito and none of us were impressed. No real definition between all the layers. Honestly, we looked at it and we were like, oh, it's just another fucking burrito with a bunch of stuff in it. And maybe it's good. I'm not knocking Taco Bell for that. Look, we all love Taco Bell, especially at 420 in the afternoon. It's amazing then, isn't it? But it didn't look like anything great. We thought, hey, we could do something better than that. More layers than that and more obvious layer definition than that. So that's what we're doing, except ours is gonna be a quesadilla, and this shit is going to rock, we think. Ready? Ready. Wait, let me see that piece of paper. What do you mean? Show me the piece of paper. It's the email from the dude. All right, let's see it. Well, it's just a printout of a... Wait, all right, well then to show us. Okay, there's nothing on it. I can't. I couldn't find the guy's email, and I think it was Mark, and if it's not, I apologize. But I wanted to, the guy wrote. Like, hey, the guy wrote. And I thought it would be fun to start with, a, like a, now people think we fake shit. Now people think I fake shit. I don't fake stuff. And this sweat that's on my brow right now is 100% real because it's, 83 degrees in San Diego. And I know there's people in other parts of the country right now, they're like 83 degrees. I need to get a jacket, it's so cool. Well, we can't handle that here, we're babies. It gets above 75 and we're miserable. But that's not important. What is important is that one of our 10 layers are gonna be pickled jalapenos. This is great. So we'll start this, so we'll be ready by the time all the other stuff's done. We start by getting the little brine ready. Here we go. Okay, we start with about a half a cup of boiling water. We add a half a cup of white plain vinegar, a tablespoon of kosher salt, a tablespoon of sugar, and a clove of garlic. Oh, there we go. Mix. Put this off to the side. Now we're just gonna cut our jalapenos. Thin slices. Seeds and all. Aren't they gorgeous? I love them. I love cut jalapenos. And scoop them up and put them in. We'll mix. We'll do one more. This will be enough for, you know, three or four jalapenos, but we don't need all of these today, of course. In fact, we don't need more than one, but we'll make extra to put in the fridge because they're so damn good. Okay. These guys go in. There you go. Now those just sit in about 25 minutes. They're gonna be the point where you can start to use them. And of course, tomorrow, even better. Here's our layers. Here's what we're putting in, aside from the jalapenos. Cheese, of course, diced white onion, sauteed red peppers, tomatoes, avocado, the jalapenos, lettuce, Mexican rice, beans, chorizo, steak that I'm gonna grill, and more cheese. Not necessarily in that order, but next, um, Next, uh, well, let's get the, the peppers going and the onions. How's that? So the peppers go like this. We'll start by taking off this side very nicely. These we want into a small dice. So we'll just cut these strips. We've got them. Same with this side. Perfect. Now these onto the flat top. A little oil first, and down they go. And they're not gonna take a lot, nothing complicated. We just don't want, you know, raw peppers. 
Sometimes they're very welcome, but I want them a little softer in this case. Get on. So we'll let them do their thing for a bit. And while they do, we can start to prep the steak. We're using this lovely skirt steak. Remember, we used it for the fajitas the other day. It's tremendous. I love it. It's great. But we need to season it a little bit, and we'll use a similar seasoning. This is garlic powder, kosher salt, cumin, chili powder. What else did I put in it? I think a little paprika. So a little oil first, help everything stick. And the seasoning. Nicely covered. And we can actually do both sides here. And because this has been out of the fridge for about a half an hour, and because it's so thin, it's basically room temperature, we can go straight to the grill. And on they go. Lovely. And as you can imagine, these are not going to take very long. They're very thin. It's going to be max a couple minutes a side, I really think. I want to keep them a little rare. It'll be fun. Much more exciting. And we're ready for a turn. Nice. Ow. Another minute and a half or so, and then they'll come off. These guys can come off. Peppers are ready. Let's take them off. And I've just got a baking sheet over here. I'm staging things on. Alrighty. Tomatoes. What do we say? Diced? What do we say? Diced or diced? diced? Fine. Let's dice tomatoes. I can dice tomatoes. I know how to dice tomatoes. It's not a big deal. I just do exactly what my boss tells me to do. Dice f***ing tomatoes. I'm dicing f***ing tomatoes. Some beautiful tomatoes. I love this. My work is solid. Okay, dice tomatoes. You okay with this? Fine, fine. Let's go put them over here. Go away now. Go on. Avocado time. For those of you that may have forgotten, here's how you cut an avocado. You take your knife, you cut straight down, and you hit pit. Can't go any further. Then just allow the knife to travel around that pit, thereby giving you two halves that you can then separate by turning and looking inside. Oh, textbook, baby. Not like that one that we had when we did the fajitas. Remember that? Mm. It felt good. Honestly, it felt good. But And then we just take a spoon and scoop like this, and flip it over. Flip it over on its stomach. This is obviously its back. Everybody would know that. And then we'll just cut gorgeous pieces. To get this one out, little tap with the knife, like that. Twist, boom, out it comes. Pull that guy off. Same thing here. Spoon goes in, travel around, flap him on his stomach, and then just do the same thing. Now these guys I'll go put over here, and we'll wait for the build. So look, you have a choice of onions, of course. Uh, I like white onion for something like this because it's, it's got the most bite, you know? Red onions are lovely for color. Yellow onions are sweeter a little bit, but when I want to taste onion, I always go white. Okay, here's where we are. Onions, check. Sauteed peppers, check. Tomatoes, check. Avocado, check. Pickled jalapenos, check. Lettuce, rice, beans, check. Chorizo, steak. More cheese, check. We're going to start warming tortillas now. And we're going to start building. But before I do, I have one quick thing to read. This is something Max wrote when he was young. <clears throat> about three weeks ago, I was eating grapes by myself in my house. I threw one of the grapes about five feet in the air, closed my eyes, and caught that grape without looking. I almost choked, but it was one of the greatest accomplishments in my life, and no one saw it. I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any idea how old you were? Because this is exactly your same uh, printing as today. 
You could have been like 27 or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's start warming I some I stand tortillas. by that statement. <laughs> okay, we're using, of course, flour tortillas. Of course, ones from my restaurant, Not Not Tacos, because they're that good. We will begin the warming process now. Just get a couple layers going. I gotta think this through. I have to look at my list, consult the list. So the bottom layer, yes, absolutely needs cheese. There's gonna be a few spots that cheese show up, but for sure, this bottom layer has to have it. It's, it's like the glue that holds everything together. You would know that. This is pretty hot, actually. So here's what I need to do. I need to turn that down, turn one of these guys, and now put on some rapidly melting Monterey Jack cheese. This is ridiculous how hot it is out here. And I don't want to be a baby about this, but, but I'm going to be. This is chorizo, pork chorizo, cooked. I'm gonna put some cheese in it to thicken it up a bit, make it another fun cheesy layer. Taco Bell, seven layer burrito. Who what the heck do they think they are kidding? They're not kidding us. Oh no, they are not kidding us. Right, Mark? Okay, there was a guy. His name might not have been Mark, but there was a guy. Beans warming, rice warming, okay. While those are warming, we cut some steak. Thin bites. There's nothing worse than taking a bite of a steak quesadilla and the entire piece of steak comes out with it. So we're gonna make sure that does not happen to us. So after we cut, and we want a lot of steak because it's important. You can't call a steak quesadilla a steak quesadilla with like one shitty little piece of steak. After we cut those ways, I'm gonna do this just to make sure that when you bite, you get a little piece of steak in your mouth, not the entire thing. Okay, I'm gonna put these over here, clean up, and now we're starting, for sure, I promise this time. There's our bottom cheesy layer. And on top of that, also acting as glue on this bottom layer will be refried beans. I probably shouldn't get too close to the edge because I know the weight is gonna push it out, right? One down, nine to go. Next, another tortilla. Next layer, the beautiful tomatoes. But to keep them in place, she's using a little bit of sour cream. And then rather than just a cooked tortilla, a tortilla with melted cheese upside down, just for a little extra queso in this quesadilla, followed by a beautiful layer of lovely ripe avocado. Okay, I have an idea. Well, I've had it all along. That's why the deep fryer's here. We're gonna make a crispy layer, a crispy layer. Take a tortilla, we put it in. Oil's at 350. It's probably gonna take about a minute. It's gonna puff up. It'll be kind of cool looking, but then once you take it out, then it will go flat again. But it's just gonna add a little nice texture in this whole thing. Give it a couple turns. And when it's ready, up it comes, it dries, and then you use it. So for the chorizo layer, I'm gonna actually build it off of it because I'm concerned I'm gonna to have to push down too hard and I want this to stay gorgeous. Like this. Damn it. It's freaking beautiful. And damn do I love chorizo. Perfect. Now we can go with another tortilla guy. Now we're gonna have a little more sour cream. Just a bit, not too much. On this one will be the red peppers. These guys are gorgeous. So check this out. For this next layer, I wanted a melty, cheesy layer. So I put the cheese down first, tortilla next, and we end up with this. Ow, it's gonna be hot. Look at that, ow, ow. It's like a gorgeous golden pancake of cheese that is so damn hot. Ow. Are we okay there, Max? I think this cheese layer with the crunch deserves the steak, don't you? Yeah. So here we go. Wow. This is, 
Holy itchy, man. Wow. This is some work. I thought this would just be kind of easy, honestly. It ain't easy at all. Just a couple more, we're almost there. Next up, semi-cheesy lair. Ow. That will be the home of the, the pickled jalapeno. The oh so gorgeous, amazing pickled jalapeno that you will want to make. Unless of course you hate them, and then it's your option, you can leave them off. We'll follow that. Ay, chihuahua. Little sour cream. A little sharpness, a little bite. I'm laughing because this thing is starting to become not so perfect in shape, becoming the leaning tower of quesadilla. And for our top and final layer, we're going double cheese. Remember, quesadilla, queso, cheese, we gotta have lots. I think we've hit many layers in here. This will be our rice. I don't know how this looks from your side, Max, but it looks wonky as F from my side. And of our top layer, more melty cheese to hold the cheese in, the, the rice in place. Oh, God. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our 10 layer steak quesadilla. Thank you very much. <laughs> You've been with the place is a hole now from this and a thousand degrees. I mean, what do you say? No, it's not a seven layer burrito. It's a 10 layer. Do we need to revisit the layers? Let's think of what we've got here. Bottom up, we have beans, we have tomatoes, we have avocado, we have chorizo, we have the roasted red peppers, we have the steak, we have the pickled jalapenos, we have the white onions, and we have the Mexican rice. Sandwiched between two layers of cheese, no less. I think there's probably six or seven layers of cheese in this quesadilla, thereby making it official, thereby making it ridiculous. And now I must attempt a single bite. I forgot lettuce. There's lettuce. It just got, look, it's a lot of weight here. Oh my God, let's weigh it, shall we? We haven't weighed for a while. Stand by. Let me clear a little spot. See if I can do this. The, the key is trying to lift. Oh boy. And boom. What do we got? That looks like 2.67 pounds. Is that what that says? Wow. Two and a half pounds plus of hopefully delicious quesadilla. And don't forget, there's the deep fried tortilla layer in here. Underneath the steak. Ah, oh, come on. We gotta try this thing. It's really heavy. Serrated knife. Clearly the only way to tackle something like this. You apply gentle pressure. Down we go. Any other knife would be a mistake. And now as we try to open, that's gonna be fun to see. <laughs> How does that look? Holy S. Damn. Is that good? Get up, fly. Okay, shall I? Let's go right here. It's just not, you can't do it. It's not possible. Why would I even try? Because, because I have to. What am I gonna get? I'm gonna get just pieces. So the only way to do it is a couple of bites. Just go up the edge. Hmm? Hmm? I don't know how you do this. Maybe you just eat layer by layer. Maybe that's the thing to do. You have a bunch of people over, you start, you take a layer off, you eat it. You take a layer off, you eat it. Because this is just mental. But fine, so try it sometime. This you can do. That whack breakfast tower we did, nobody's making that, I don't think. For sure, if you made one, send us a picture. But this is actually doable. It takes a while, but it's doable. Thank you for being there. Eat, eat, good Lord. Eat more Mexican food that you throw together yourself. See ya.